2000, 2010 Chevy van. What is it? Uh, a 1500 Savannah, I believe that's it. Um, problem. Pushed in, told in because it didn't move. <sighs> Why? We will see. Come to the back here. And it had some burnt clutches. These are low reverses. It did have some burnt clutches. But one of the main things is that pump broke. Okay, so it didn't move because of that. Now, when a van or any vehicle come in uh, to tell if the pump is the issue, what you can do is, and what we did, is take the trans one transmission line loose and then start the vehicle up. If it doesn't um, allow any transmission fluid to come out the line flow or force it out, that would mean that the pump is not turning, okay? It means not turning. This has to turn, turn around. And the torque converter is the one that's turning this. And if this is broken, it can't turn the pump, so fluid won't flow. So that means it had to come out. Also, we took the pan down. We saw that there was some clutch material in there. As I said, that was, this was just the low reverse that was burnt up right here. It wasn't too good. Um, but um, the floor was kind of burnt and probably due to the low pressure. Okay, now we're going to go back over to that van. Okay, after we put the vehicle, the transmission back in the van, we got it to move forward and reverse, but it didn't shift. The speedometer didn't work, and you couldn't see it in park reverse neutral. Uh, you couldn't read the prindle. Well, underneath the van, here we are here. What we have here is the ABS module, okay? And what we discovered is that the AGS module was burnt. right here okay so now why is this affecting the transmission well the reason is and you gotta watch out for this here because this is live um, in fact let me uh, cover this up here with some tape because if this touch the the ground or the frame it's gonna spark okay let me cover that up I'll do it and then get back Chevy to this. Express. I think I said Chevy um, Savannah. Okay, 2010 here. So what did we have? We had the ECM, which lost communication with the TCM. And we had um, the ECM, lost communication with fuel pump control module. And the engine control module lost communication okay with the TCM so we had that and back to redundancy and we had this here that the supplemental in inflatable restraint lost communication with the instrument panel cluster the IPC all right so this is what we had we lost communication now X let me go into diagnostic mode And I'm going to show you that I cannot let me diagnosis communicate with the TCM control unit transmission control module. Okay, let's see what trouble code it is. Read. See? Test or not communication with the control unit. So now those wires are are disconnected the ABS is disconnected at the bottom also I'm gonna start this up you will see that the uh, you won't see park reverse neutral and you also won't see um, which is the prindle which is right there won't light up also the speedometer is not going to work so. Okay. 
check engine light is on, so the brake lights are on because it's disconnected. So I'm in park, I'm in reverse, but it doesn't show down there. Neutral and drive. Oh, it hit hard too. Pressing on the accelerator and it's moving as if it's shaking, but it's not showing anything. Okay, it's not showing any gear or it's not showing any speed. So now, what I'm going to do is turn this off. I'm going to go down here and, and connect the can high, the ingoing can high to the outgoing can high, and the ingoing. Um, can low to the outgoing can low and then we're going to come back up here and see if we can um, get any communication with the TCM and see if the speedometer and everything start reading. See what you can. Right. Yeah. I don't have to be bad. Just got these all these connected together this is the can high and can low all right now we're gonna go back up top let me go back up top climb this ladder ignition on and see if we can get the connector see if it can communicate now haha see current history now it shows see so this is the TCM and what it had was it lost communication with the ECM and it lost communication with the BCM okay but you wouldn't see that because it, it wasn't online uh, because the ABS was unplugged because it was burnt so now there you will also see the park is showing reverse neutral drive 321 and also if the park is showing, then it's going to, the speedometer is going to probably show and the transmission will shift. So, oh, it moved. Okay. Ugh. I'm in park. Reverse. Neutral. Drive. Oh, it's shifting real good. All right, shifts nice and smoothly. All right. Let me 
turn this off. Now, I don't know how both the transmission and this was bad. Um, had both a mechanical problem, which was the front pump was broken. Because it was told here it didn't move. If we took it out, we saw that it was gone. And also, again, um, the ABS module uh, somehow burnt up. Uh, so this is a, a reason um, why, or a situation where you can have more than one problem at a time. And a lot of times customers don't want to hear, hey, you have to go a little further. Some of them just have money for the very first thing that you say might need to be done. And I know sometimes when you do run into an issue where you, they have two, three, or four extra problems, then um, a lot of them are going to mistrust you. They're going to say you, you, uh, you have some shops that were um, dealing with customers that would say, well, it wasn't like that before or this is all that you said it was going to be you were running into situations like that but in this instance um, the ABS had been burnt up and unplugged by someone else okay so a lot of times I had to put videos out like this to show uh, and prove that a vehicle come in can have more than one problem that will be affecting the transmission okay so, so you will have that so for those who may need to use videos like this in order to prove that there can be more than one problem then welcome to it so that's in for this truck so what I might probably do is I I don't know I may leave that unplugged um, and put the wires back the way they were because and have them tow it back I don't really want this driven like that or I might be able to put those wires back together and um, pull the broken prong out and cut the two big wires and tape them up and then stick that plug right back into the ABS module and if I do that then it might still be able to be uh, be able to come online um, because the only parts that I think that was damaged inside of that module was the two uh, prongs where the motor hooks to. Um, the ABS won't work of course I believe but um, the transmission in the other modules will still be online. So I'll make a decision on what to do later on throughout the day. Alright. I um, connected these can wires back up um, I like to solder when I'm dealing with certain wires. I solder them and shrink tube them. I normally put double shrink tube because I don't want any piece rubbing through. So these are two shrink tubes on there so uh, with glue. So these can wires are put back together. 